right, so we're down in the Mojave Desert near Randsburg, California, and we're going to spend three days exploring this area with uh, our friends from SSV Works, Rugged Radios, and Concord, Polaris, and Can-Am. Okay, for this trip, I brought my 2021 Can-Am Maverick X3 with Smart Shocks, and the Smart Shocks turned out to be a really cool feature for this ride. I had my wife with me, wanted a nice, comfortable ride, and on the dash, there's a switch that you can select Comfort, Sport, or Sport Plus. We put it in Comfort, and it was nice and smooth. So we also had our uh, four-seater with us. SSV uh, has had this for a little bit and they've got a brand new wrap from Wolf Designs and also a full tilt uh, audio system that was awesome around the campfire at night. So the first day we got into camp um, about uh, 11 o'clock and by noon or one o'clock we were out on the trail. Uh, first destination was uh, Trona Pinnacles. And uh, this is pretty unique uh, spires that come up from a dry lake bed that were formed back when uh, this area was covered by water. Uh, this spot has been used in movies and videos for years. Um, pretty cool spot to uh, check out. Um, from there, we went uh, just a few miles away to a roadside destination, which is called Fishhead Rocks. It's just some rocks that have been painted since the 1930s and kind of a neat spot to just stop and check it out. They, they really do look like big fish heads. From there, we uh, went down and around a wagon wheel OHV staging area to a spot called The Bar. And it is an overlook for the town of Ridgecrest, California. Good spot for uh, sunset to hang out. Um, from there, we stopped by the X-15 uh, Memorial for uh, astronaut uh, test pilot um, Michael Adams. And uh, then from there, just ran back to uh, camp. Day two, we had uh, the full day, made a lot of stops. We uh, headed through Randsburg and uh, then across the valley and went up a canyon that's got a, a spot where you do a little rock crawling called the Narrows. And then from there, made our way to Burrow Schmidt Tunnel. So uh, Burrow Schmidt, um, Burrow is his uh, nickname. He uh, decided he needed to uh, build this tunnel to get over the through this mountain instead of having his donkeys go through it or over it. And uh, this tunnel took him 38 years to uh, build. He did it all by himself, and it's a half a mile long um, just to get to the other side. It's uh, pretty pretty awesome. You can walk all the way through it. It's safe to do so, and uh, it's a great destination. He came from the other side towards the end of it because he couldn't figure out exactly uh, why he wasn't out. So uh, came out the other side and dug back in, connected up, and then all of a sudden we're out here on the other side. Mojave's down that way. After that, uh, just a couple miles away is uh, Bickle Camp, uh, and that has an old mining camp with uh, tons of relics that you can walk around and look at. Really neat to, to check all that out. And then uh, finally, we made our way down uh, Last Chance Canyon. Um, that's part of uh, Red Rock Canyon State Park and uh, there is a designated route through that and there is some rock crawling you gotta do uh, on your way down that with some bypasses, so that's a cool trail as well. Back at camp, um, we had uh, some awesome uh, tacos that uh, Kevin from uh, Concord Polaris and Can-Am and Trevor from SSV um, put together for us and uh, Teresa and I uh, made margaritas and uh, it was a great uh, night to hang out by the fire, listen to the tunes uh, from uh, the uh, SSV stereo and just have a good time. Day three, we headed down uh, through a uh, corridor 
in the uh, Grass Valley Wilderness and then ended up at uh, this quartz mine. Kind of a cute little spot that uh, somebody has started a uh, Jurassic town. Uh, the deal is you're supposed to bring a uh, some kind of a dinosaur or something to add to the collection and make a new scene or whatever. So we, we, we stopped there, checked that out, and then it was just a quick uh, jaunt over to Husky Memorial, which uh, started off in 1987. Um, and it's a memorial for uh, Jim Erickson. His friends um, decided to uh, memorialize him, brought out his uh, Husqvarna motorcycle and half buried it. Um, from there, it is turned into uh, memorials for probably a hundred more people. And this is on BLM land, but it's uh, not really condoned, but they don't take it down. So it's a really cool destination. After that, we made our way um, over to the uh, Black Rock uh, Wilderness Area, uh, swung by Scouts Cove, and then to Inscription Canyon, which uh, is a spot that has some uh, petroglyphs. And uh, after that, we made our way back over towards uh, the Husky Monument and uh, played around on Cuddyback Dry Lake Bed before heading back to camp. Overall, the uh, Mojave Desert has uh, some great riding, and the Randsburg area in particular has some great destinations, and you don't have to you know, ride 100 plus miles a day to see lots of cool stuff. Um, we were doing 50, 60 miles a day, and uh, really uh, saw some top-notch uh, places, and really kept it interesting. Great group of uh, people to ride with and uh, really an awesome time. Can't wait to get back there and see more, spend more time. Three days is definitely not enough. Yeah.